fashion. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a fashion video. So fashion is a company that I discovered early in my channel when I was doing subscription boxes. It was one that was recommended to me. They had just started this whole mystery box thing. I was pretty excited about it because it was something that I could absolutely afford. I really liked the idea of a mystery, so I bought in. And let me kind of explain how this whole thing works, at least currently, because it's only going for about another four weeks and then they're totally changing it up. So this is very temporary information. So when my daughter was little, she used to love mystery boxes and mystery bags. Like we could go to the toy section and basically you would know about the size of the thing, the general idea of the thing, but whatever you opened up was kind of a complete surprise. Like there would be a My Little Pony blind bag. You knew that you were gonna get a pony about yay big and it was about four bucks but what you opened up was complete luck. So you, if you knew you liked ponies and you knew you liked them that size and you liked surprises, that could be absolutely the deal for you. <laughs> it could be like a super rare, it could be one that you already have, you don't know. Fashion's mystery box kind of works like that. It's five items for $55, so essentially 11 bucks a piece. And the only thing that you are really choosing or customizing is that those are going to be your size. And so Fashion reached out to me to ask if they could send me a box, uh, but you will notice that this is not a sponsored video. And the reason is that I've got three. <laughs> Okay, so after I did my first video, I ended up ordering a second one because I really wanted to do it again. I thought that it was a lot of fun. And then there's a referral code that works a lot like Stitch Fix, Wannable, that kind of thing. I think that like maybe I get $10, you get $10 kind of thing. A lot of people use my referral code. And so I get enough to purchase two more boxes. Well, <laughs> when Fashion wrote me, they said that this mystery box for 55 bucks was only gonna last for the next few weeks. And so because of that, it made me like get myself in gear and decide that I need to do a video and open up these boxes. That was a lot of backstory <laughs> to let you know that uh, these are mystery boxes. So if you have like $55 of expendable income and want to build your closet, kind of see what you can get in your size, this could be for you. Now that said, with the $55 mystery box, it is yours. There's no take backsies. These five items or 15 items as it is are staying here. I can do with them what I want, but I can't send them back and get a refund. So from my understanding, once this deal is over, they're going to start a new box that has slightly higher end items. They say that these are valued at over $150. The new ones are going to be four to six items as opposed to five, and they'll be valued at over $200. Those boxes are going to be $95. So it's not like a style fee or anything like that. You pay $95, you get a box in, but where these, you cannot send anything back, those you will be able to be credited for the items that you return. One thing that I did accept from Fashion was that they have a survey and I will attach it. You may use it at your will. It doesn't do anything for me. It's got a few questions asking about different style service type things that you may be interested in. I think that they're going to do a drawing from it and there's gonna be like a $25 Amazon gift card. It is a Google form. You'll be filling out your information and answering the questions. And then it becomes kind of like a raffle or giveaway from those entries. So I'll attach that down in the description in the event that you're interested. But I think as far as the $55 mystery boxes go, I'll be opening three. So you will hopefully get a good idea of what can come in them. All right, so my last one that I opened had some pretty decent items in it. So there was a blouse that I've actually worn several times to work. That was probably my favorite. It was like a damask print. There was a dress that was floral. I've worn that one several times also. There was a gray and white stripe dress that uh, I haven't worn, but I think in the summer it would be pretty ideal. And then there was this really fun, like crazy striped top that I've worn actually under some dungarees that I got from Pure Plus and that, that was really fun. And then I think the last were some pants that I don't totally, totally remember super well, but I'm pretty sure that's what it was. So we're going to look at these as five separate boxes so that you get a good idea of like what one box will have in it. Oh, wow. All right. So this looks like I've got some florals. I've got definitely some denim here, which is fantastic. I'm going to let you see that. It's got my little fashion sticker on the top. All right. So I'm going to open this box and then you're going to magically flip to future Meredith trying it on. Come back, open box number two, do the same. Box three, do the same. Okay. 
This is the Bamboo Collection by Studio Co. It is really soft. If you all know that bamboo fabric, it's like a different kind of soft, almost like a cooling soft, if that makes sense. It would be more than 11 bucks if I bought it at Target. Um, this is a 3X, just kind of a like, I don't know that closet staple is the right, because I wouldn't hang this in my closet, like a dresser drawer staple, I'll take it. The denim is, it's a boyfriend short and it's by a company called Catherine. Um, I like that there's not any real distressing on it. This is a 22W, which means that since I got the size 3X box, in fact, on each box it tells you the size. I'm sure that's how they sorted out in the warehouse. Um, so that means that 22 is probably the highest that it's going. But these are just some little shorts. There's no true distressing. There's like um, a little bit of like, you know, intentional snagging there. This is by Gilly. It is a little dolman that is gray cheetah print. It's not really sweatshirt material. It's really kind of lightweight. For Texas, this is the type of sweatshirt that I would like. Yeah, I think that this one's really cute. It's not something that I would have chosen, but I'll probably wear it. Okay, this is a nice little slinky fabric. I think we got a dress. All right, this is also by Gilly. I get tons of Gilly in my daily look boxes. And so I'm assuming that maybe they order from a company kind of like this. And you know, I don't have any facts to back that up, but if I got a dress like this in daily look or wantable or stitch fix, it would cost more than this entire box. But this is a really slinky material. It is lined at the bust. It's not lined below. I don't know that you can tell well, you definitely can't tell because there's an island between us, but it's not quite full length, but it's spaghetti strap. This looks like it's perfect for spring going into summer. Oh, you know what? I lied. It's not a dress. I don't know what I'm, y'all, I'm sorry. This is a jumpsuit. <laughs> this reminds me so much of the jumpsuits that I've gotten from Stitch Fix. I'm trying to think of who they are by. I'm going to put it on the screen because it's not popping into my head right now. This is a spaghetti strap little number. The back is adjustable. It's a cute little navy floral. I could totally see myself adding something like this to my stitch fix. It's got wide legs. It's kind of crop length. Yeah, it has a faux wrap and she's got some pockets. Honestly, this box is pretty fantastic. And lastly, this is by Angie. It's just a red, really simple top. This is a woven material. So there's definitely no stretch to it. It looks like it's cut right under the bust. It's kind of got sleeves that go up and a little bit of a square neckline. There is a little bit of pooling. I don't know if you can see it. It looks like it could easily be trimmed, but where the underside, it's not really pooling as much as like where the underside of the fabric has some loose little threads. In fact, I just pulled them off and it doesn't look like it's any worse for wear, but just so you're aware, I want to give you the real opening experience. All right, box number one, I think has done a fantastic job. All right, I'm in my kitchen and I decided to stay in here for natural light. I had to like push you way back. I don't know that you're totally getting my feet, but we're close. And I am super, super impressed with both the bamboo top and these pants. I had said that they were Catherine. These are the Catherine by Cut From The Cloth, which is one of my favorite denim brands. I've gotten Cut From The Cloth in Wantable. I've gotten it in Daily Look. I've gotten it in Stitch Fix. And anytime I've seen it out, it is significantly more than any of these boxes. <laughs> I really am impressed with box number one. Now, I will have you note that this is the only box that had any denim in it at all. It just happens to be super nice denim. So yeah, let me show you the back, <laughs> show you the front. This piece would have been more than the box as a whole. This top is adorable. It's totally me. The, the arms were like double knotted whenever I first put it on and I was like, oh my gosh, it's so tight. But it was just that they were tied. They're loose now because I couldn't one hand tie them. But I really am impressed with this guy. It's cut right where I like it. I've got the square neckline, which isn't my absolute favorite neckline, but I'm not complaining. Let me show you the back. Yeah, it's just real blousey on the bottom, which would be incredibly forgiving. It's super lightweight. So far impressed with all three. Okay, I thought I was gonna break my streak because this little kind of dolman style sweatshirt is not something that I would choose, but I do honestly like it. I think that the cheetah print in these colors does not wash me out. It feels awesome. And it's super forgiving, not too tight down here, not too tight on my bust, again, these are all in the 3X box, which is the largest size that they carry. I typically wear between a 20 and 22 on bottom. 
definitely a 22 on top. And if I'm getting a number of clothing, I'm getting a 3X. Every once in a while, I can handle a 2X. I'm gonna go to the jumpsuit, be right back. If this was a Stitch Fix box, this would be a five for five, 100%, and there is no way that it would cost $55. This is so cute. It's the Gilly. It's so similar in feel to so many jumpsuits that I've gotten in my Stitch Fix boxes. Um, I would not be surprised if they were coming from the same manufacturer with, with a different label sewn on, but it has nice, crop legs. It's a little bit nakedy on top, but I think I could handle it. I would love to have just like a holy style cardigan, real lightweight. Yeah, this is actually staying in my closet. And for $11, you absolutely can't beat it. It also has some pockets, which I love. Actually, let me show you about the cut from the cloth because I had said they were Catherine and here's the reason. It's because I just read this guy and right next to it, it said cut from the cloth. And then it also, burp. What I'm gonna say is that I'm actually pretty happy that I did not just open this box because had I opened this box and praised it, because it deserves praise, it's an awesome box, but then you ordered and got one of the other three boxes I've gotten, like the two that I'm about to try on or the one that I tried on previously, I think that I would hear a lot of people say that they sent the box to the person on YouTube and she's getting better stuff. And that's not the case. It was totally luck of the draw. But I also wanted to do this box by box so you can see one box looks like. This was by far the best mystery box that I could imagine. Time to move to mystery box number two. One thing that fashion has on all of their boxes is better as I am. It's just a hashtag slogan type thing. And I really do love the idea of better as I am. I want all of us to realize that we are enough. We are great the way we are. And we can absolutely feel beautiful in our own skin right where we are. So fashion, good job with box number one and the slogan. This one has a little bundle that's a little bit ripped. All right, this is not quite as colorful as the last. Feels like I've got another sweatshirt and I've got something that might be camo. Check her out. Box number two, what you got for us? Oh my goodness. This is like a raglan style tee. It has a black body and then it has leopard print arms. I don't like full body leopard on me, mostly because it tends to wash me out, but I think that this would be nice. Now, this is a printed fabric. I kind of have a thing against this style printed fabrics. Um, I feel like they get really hot, whereas like the body that's the total black and black inside is not gonna be that way. I can put my hands on it and feel that that's what's happening here. That said, it might be adorable. I think that this would be so cute with like a dance team, a school logo, something like that embroidered on it. I, like, I always like to think of things in terms of what can be embroidered or applique. <laughs> camo, goodness gracious. So I'm not a huge camo girl, but this could maybe be worn to an exercise class. I was going to Pure Bar a whole, whole lot, but I had to stop. It's like a temporary stop thing, but it is the way that it is. I was wearing a lot of like graphic tees, that kind of thing. And I totally stood out. Like I had like, nobody puts baby in the corner and some like Harry Potter and Princess Bride slogans. People would always comment on it, but everyone else is like in a single solid color. So I think that <laughs> even though it would make people think that I am totally a camo aficionado. This would kind of be like halfway between a plain black top and like, hello, my name is Inigo Montoya. You killed my father, prepare to die. Totally a shirt that I have, oh my gosh. Here is a sweatshirt. This one is a little bit heavier than the last. It still is not like a fleece lined, hot, hot sweatshirt, but it does have a saying on it. It says, snack dealer, a boo-boo healer, Kiss Stealer. Feels like a like 90s R&B lyric, like snack dealer, boo-boo healer, kiss stealer. I am past my boo-boo healing days, at least for my daughter, but I do have little bitty nieces and nephews and I will absolutely be these things for them. <laughs> I didn't say anything about the brands. I'm gonna come back and look at those. I apologize. So this is by So In Love, So S-E-W, and it is um, a little fashion top. This is like, halfway between animal print and houndstooth. I don't know, do y'all see it? It has like a crisscross in top. I do not love the feel of this. It's very much like super stretchy, kind of thin poly blend um, or straight polyester, let me look. Yeah, 95% poly, 5% spandex, 100% love. <laughs> I do appreciate that. Yeah, this is actually the back because I'm seeing that the tags back there or at least the tags back there. I can't imagine that being 
the back. I think this would be awfully high. I have seen mistakes before. That might be the way it is. But I will say that if I saw this in a store for $11, I would not pick it up. Like if this had the right thing on it, maybe. Um, but this one, I, I, I'm telling you because I, you can't feel it through the camera. It just feels incredibly, incredibly cheap to me. Last thing, we've got another, this is like a super animal print box. Now this one is really, really soft. Ooh, okay, I like it. It's like a stretch. It's almost like a stretch sweatshirt. It's a, quite a bit thicker than a t-shirt would be. There's a whole lot of stretch to it. I really like the way that this feels. If I'm going for the sweatshirt, you know, the last one had that leopard sweatshirt. This one's got kind of like a cheetah sweatshirt. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to vote to see which one's better. Now this one does feel like it's going to be quite a bit tighter. The other one may win by default. Okay, this one was by Mono B. I have not heard of them. Like I said, this one was by So In Love. This guy is also by So In Love. This, oh, this is by Democracy. Interesting. I don't know that it changes anything for me. I do like it. I could only see wearing a camo top to like an exercise class. And then this guy is by Chris and Carol. The only time I've heard of Chris and Carol was through Wantable. I've gotten a Chris and Carol dress that I really liked and fantastic. It says that this is made in the USA, which uh, is getting rarer and rarer. So I will say that if I'm rating the boxes, box number one is definitely the winner so far, but you never know till we try. All right, so this top is cute. And though I can totally get behind the snack dealer, boo-boo healer, kiss stealer message, I don't think that this one's for me. It, is plenty comfortable also. I don't know that there's tons of room, but uh, I don't think that it's doing really awful things on me. It just is definitely not one of my favorite pieces and I don't think that it compares to really anything that's in the last box. I put on the shorts from the last box because this box is a box of five tops and girlfriend needed to wear some pants. Okay, so the second sweatshirt in this box is actually really, really snug. Now it's got a lot of elastic or spandex in it. And so I'm sure that that is maybe its intention, but I don't really know that I like how snug it is on me. The arms are also incredibly long. So I'm a tall lady and if I pulled them down, they're kind of like this. Honestly, for this length, I would love it to have like a thumb hole, which isn't difficult to add, but you know, just saying. The print's cute. I like how silky it is, like the actual feel of the fabric, but it is very tight. This is the little democracy top. To me, it definitely feels like a, I'm going to a swim meet or I'm going on a walk kind of guy. It's nice and soft. This little tie can be undone for the wash, but it just kind of hangs there and needs to be tied. It's not too tight and it's definitely camouflage. This is probably my favorite one so far. So this stretch fabric is just really kind of itchy. I have it on the way that I would think was backwards, but the tag was in the back. So I've got the crisscross going that way. I'm gonna swap her around and see what it does. Okay, so I don't know that it looks better, but it definitely feels better like this. Honestly, this is kind of an itchy material. It's got a lot of stretch to it, but I wouldn't feel comfortable wearing this all day. Even though I think that it looks nice, it's my least favorite so far, even over the snack dealer shirt. Okay, this is that Raglan Cheetah. And honestly, this might be my favorite of the box. I think that I like this one and I like the Democracy and everything else is just kind of like, eh. But I think that this is flattering. Uh, the arms are a little bit warm, but they're not like suffocating. Let me show you the back. So it also has this leopard print cuff on the top that matches the arms. And yeah, I really can't complain about this shirt in particular. I love box one and got my money's worth like several times over. This one, I don't think I could find $55 worth of value. Let's check out three. The third and final box. <laughs> yeah, I do think that it was very nice of Fashion to offer to send me a box, but um, I've had these three sitting around for longer than I care to admit. So I definitely did not need a fourth one. I think, I think we have a third cheetah print sweatshirt. <laughs> and there's something that's camo. So we're getting a good sampling here. Take notes. All right, so I've got that. I've got something that is black. Ooh, I've got some teal. I'm looking for a little color. And then something that's brown down here. There's something so satisfying about the little burrito. Oh, okay. So it's not a straight cheetah print sweater. This is a sweatshirt that has a cheetah print star on it. This is probably very similar to that first sweatshirt. Lightweight, does not have the fleece interior. So it would be 
probably the right level of warmth for me. This is by Mono B. This guy is by Menzana. And it's in a 5XL, so they must know that it fits very small. This is a printed fabric tee. It does have that kind of non-breathable feel to it. I do like the print. I am a fan of florals. I'm imagining that y'all know what I'm talking about. Whenever you've got some printed fabric and it just kind of, I don't know, there's something about it that's almost soft and fleecy and feels super nice, but I can tell just by putting my hand in there that I'm gonna sweat. This one's even lighter weight than the last one. It is camouflage. It could be nice for like a day out in the country when we go to visit our in-laws. It is by A period gain, like again or a gain, unsure. And this also says that it's made in the USA. I'm interested in what this fabric is made of. Seven, this is 87% polyester, 10% rayon, and 3% spandex, but I do really like the feel of it. This is by Together Clothing. This has a scalloped cap sleeve, so you can see like where the armpit is here. It looks like it's just gonna kinda cap over my arm like that. And then the bottom has cutouts, like scalloped little cutout in that same fabric. I do like the way it feels. This really, really feels like something that I would get from Bloom Chic. It does not seem super generous in size, but I could be wrong. I've been known to be wrong. And then lastly, I've got an incredibly thin pair of trousers. This is by Check It Out Plus. They are just like a pair of brown trousers. I don't know that they're going to fit me. They do look long enough. These are a size 3X. I'm gonna try on the last box. Okay, so super future Meredith here. I was just <laughs> editing and this part of the video was corrupted. So I had to refilm real quick. I wanted to let you know that the pants very, very sadly did not fit. Like they unbuttoned, wouldn't even like they barely came up over my hips. So that was a wash, but this top <laughs> surprisingly is pretty amazing. I just had to go and take it from my daughter because um, she's absconded with it. And she says that it's incredibly comfy. She loves sleeping in it. I think that it is flattering. Camo is not really my favorite, but I think that this one is a great lightweight sweatshirt. Yeah. Okay, so sad stuff. This jade color that I really loved did not fit at all. Like it, it just won't fit over my bust whatsoever. I think that I'm probably gonna write customer service about those two pieces that just don't fit because we're able to look at the other two boxes and every piece out of those 10 did. Um, so I think that there's probably an issue. This one, I actually like more than I thought I would. So it doesn't stretch to where you see the white through the back of the printed fabric like a lot of times you do. And I definitely don't feel anything suffocating me. I also do like the print. I think that this could be worn with slacks or a dress skirt. I think that it could easily be worn on a casual day, just running errands, that kind of thing also. So there is one thing left and it is another animal print sweatshirt combination. <laughs> okay, this is the last one and I <laughs> shockingly think that this might be my favorite one. I like the way that this feels. It's oversized and I love that. And because the cheetah print is a star, it doesn't feel like I'm married to cheetah print. I'm just kind of casually seeing him. This is also, like I said, not that fleecy kind. It's not too hot. Overall, I really like the fit of this one. Okay, I think that it's time for us to take a good look at everything in these boxes. So I had initially planned on us voting on the best box, but I think that there is a clear winner, a clear loser, and a homie in the middle. Honestly, my favorite five pieces are the five pieces from the first box. The red top, the ghillie jumpsuit, these awesome shorts, the bamboo, like simple, simple top, and even this like, I don't know, I probably the cheetah print dolman because it's a little bit lighter than this one, but this one right here is really close in there because of the cozy factor. This one does feel a slight bit better though. So then if we look at the worst box, I had one, two pieces that did not fit, one that was um, a little bit uncomfortable fabric wise, and then two that worked out. This isn't worth 55 bucks to me, and I'm disappointed in the two pieces that don't fit. And then let's look at the guy in the middle. So my favorites here were this raglan top that's by Chris and Carol, and then this democracy top. And honestly, if I were to get those from any other box, they would be significantly more. Now, I would not actively choose this print, and so that's important to note. But 
I wouldn't be overall disappointed. If this came in, I'd think, ah, that's a mystery box. I got some decent stuff out of it. This guy was a smidge tight. This guy has a message that's not totally me, but you know, I am literally about to go babysit and I could totally wear it for anting duties. And then this one, I just totally didn't like the feel of. So like I said, my favorite five pieces <laughs> were the first, but I do have a couple that I like from each box. I think that that gives us a pretty good sampling of what we could get if we ordered a fashion box. They are still doing these $55 boxes for the next few weeks while supplies last. So it's worth it if this is your kind of thing to see if they still have your size. After that, it's probably going to $95, but you can send some stuff back. So I really hope that you enjoyed this video. I would love it if you'd let me know what you think of fashion. Leaving comments, liking and sharing go a really long way to help me in my channel. And if you've been here for a while, and you're enjoying my content and you haven't subscribed, I would love it if you did. <laughs> All right, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.